These officers have gathered to witness the launch of the whistleblower and the gifts policies. The two policies are aimed at enhancing operations in the police service, which is to yield good service delivery to the general public. And signing the Memorandum of Understanding of the Policies between the Zambia Police Service and Transparency International Zambia, Inspector General of Police Kakoma Kanganja is happy and has welcomed the new development. Mr. Kanganja says the policies will ensure there is law and systematic order in the police operations. We are fighting new vice of corruption among his police officers and indeed members of the public. I wish to state here that these two documents being launched here today will definitely provide a roadmap to eradicating and professionalism and poor workmanship among our officers as the stage as potential to tarnish the image of the institution. Provided this, there is a he says the policies will act as a guideline to what officers are mandated to do in their line of work when dealing with the gifts and informers or whistleblowers. And speaking at the same event, TIZ Executive Director Maurice Nyambe says the inclusion of such policies in the police service will greatly contribute towards curbing the ill vices of corruption. It is a very pivotal role uh, in terms of enhancing transparency, accountability and integrity. Uh, in public service delivery. Um, and so as an institution that espouses those same values, uh, I think that we are very, very pleased indeed to have this collaboration uh, with the Office of, uh, of the Public Protector. The two policies, the whistleblower and the gifts policy, are based on directing officers on the protection of those that disclose critical information during police investigations, and also giving an integrity insight on effects of receiving gifts tokens from people involved in the police investigations. All these are aimed at delivering excellent police service to the general public without fear or favor. Reporting for Movie TV News in Lusaka, Namangolo Mundia.